my name is Nick, and welcome to my channel, where I like to talk about my life, I guess, at this point, is what we're doing here. Uh, you may notice we are in a completely new location, and I have not posted a video in months, even though I have been promising a return for months. So I'm here to explain what's been going on and what's going to happen with this channel. That's what I'm going to do here in this video. But first off, just to get us started, I really want to thank all of you out there, whoever may still be watching at this point, for sticking around even though I have been so absent for almost a year, truly. I really didn't want to take a year off. That's not how this was supposed to go, but when life kicks you in the ass, you just kind of got to take it and figure out what you're going to do. So for anyone who is just interested in seeing another review or a top 10 list or anything like that, I just want to say, you can skip this video if you want, that's fine. I do plan on making a full return. I do want to get back into it. I really want to make more reviews, lists, all that fun stuff. I really just want to have more fun with this channel, and I hope that you are excited to do that as well. So if you don't want to hear more of the doom and gloom and depressing stuff, that's fine. I'm going to keep this as light as possible anyway, but I do really want to break down what's been going on in my life and my mental health and how that's affected this channel. So if you missed my last couple update videos, I'll give you the quick recap and then get into how we got here. So uh, like many people who faced financial hardship throughout the pandemic, I became homeless and I was homeless throughout all of 2021, a little 2020, a little into 2022. And basically I was just working constantly as a delivery driver. I was working like 12 hour days, if not more, constantly working and constantly trying to put out something on this channel, even though I feel like I really fell behind with those videos as well. But I was just doing the wrong thing and I really wanted to try and focus on the channel at the time because I really needed that just for my own stability. I needed that creative outlet. I needed the positive words from you guys. I really needed that at the time. But I really should have been focused on a lot more practical things because the universe definitely stopped me dead in my tracks and was like, hold up, boy, we need to get this figured out. This is not sustainable. This is not going to work. And about a year ago, almost exactly, there was this really bad snowstorm, and I was out driving, I was working, and I slipped down this road, really messed up my front end pretty terribly, and I already had some car issues to begin with, so that just made everything worse, but basically my car was not drivable, so I was not able to continue working and feeding this beast. It was terrible. I was working just enough to make the money to pay for a room for another night and to have enough food and gas to get by. Again, not sustainable. But basically, yeah, I was stopped in my tracks and my sister and my brother-in-law thankfully graciously stepped in and honestly saved my life by taking me in. I, don't, I really don't know what, have, what would have happened to me otherwise. But uh, I moved to a different town to live with them and their three children, which was, of course, not ideal for any of us. But I'm so thankful for that because it really gave me the chance to turn my life around. And now, basically a year later, I have a completely different perspective. So the last video that I put out on this channel was a review for the film Men that came out last summer. And I was probably particularly harsh on it given my life and how bleak it was at the time and just how disappointing that movie was. So maybe I was a little unfair, but since that's where we left off, I'll take you to the summer. I was working constantly, again, still, but this is where things kind of picked up for me. And it's pretty interesting because I really wanted to start making videos. I was trying to, but I really never had the time given the schedule of everyone in the house. I never really had a place or time to film or really the ability to edit and really work on those videos. So I just didn't. But the interesting thing about it was that where my sister lives is actually within walking distance of the movie theater that I still go to, my favorite movie theater that's local to me. So I would just bike ride to the movies on my days off. It was usually Sunday. Sunday was my day when I would just bike up to the plaza where this movie theater was. I, you know, if I had a good paycheck, I would hit uh, a restaurant nearby, just like have an appetizer or a drink before going to see a movie. And that was like my, my fun little time for me, my me time over the summer. And as silly and small as it sounds, it was so refreshing just as a movie lover as much as I wanted to be doing reviews of these movies, I had so much fun just having a summer to just go to the movies and just see movies. Like, 
The Black Phone and Jurassic World Dominion and Nope. I, those are all movies that I saw truly like between three and five times because honestly, I was so exhausted from just my work week that by the time I got to a movie, I generally napped through them. Like I just, all these movies I had to see multiple times because I kept falling asleep at different portions. And you may have judgments for some of them, but it's not, it wasn't the movies, it was definitely me. So I do want to say that I have a lot of catching up to do with reviews. There are a lot of great movies that came out in 2022. It was an especially good year for horror, so... I have a lot of reviews that I want to catch up on. Definitely leave your suggestions in the comments. But while I had a super fun blockbuster summer for myself, by the end of it, closer to fall, is when I started to get things together for myself. I had raised enough money from my earnings to work on the car that I needed to fix. I still have some fixing to do. Where's some wood for me to knock on? <laughs> but I got my car drivable and I ended up finding a place to live on this website called Roomies. I met this great guy who is now my landlord. I am renting out a basement, but it's a pretty nice basement. Let me give you a little tour. It's fully furnished. There's plenty of space. There's a big ass TV and I am too poor to be getting my own place. So this is perfect for me for now. So I moved here in the beginning of October and obviously it being October, spooky season, heading into Halloween, I was trying to stage my comeback and trying to get all these reviews together of the 2022 movies that I wanted to talk about. And I was trying to catch up on all the movies and shows coming out at the time. And I just overwhelmed myself, and I think I just kind of went into this black hole, because I'm now looking at it, it's March, it's like six months later almost, and I just, I'm just now making the return video that I wanted to make months ago. I, you know, I could have done this a while ago, but I want to speak to something that has really troubled me since the beginning of starting this YouTube channel, and I think it's something that all creators feel or experience in one way or another, and I'm just going to be honest about it. You know, we talk about imposter syndrome and how no one really feels like they're necessarily the person that they're presenting as. And I think the problem for me is that I started out doing, like, webcam videos. I just was making these terribly poor quality videos that I couldn't even edit and that I would just throw out there. And still, I don't have the best camera. I'm not the best editor. I don't know what the fuck is up with lighting. I don't know what I'm doing. And I've constantly really felt like, what am I doing here? I see all these people on YouTube who seem to have it all figured out and they have their setups and they're like 12 years old and I'm over here barely knowing how to work a ring light. You know what I mean? And the problem that I've been facing for years, a problem that I think all of us can relate to in one way or another is just that I feel too low quality for YouTube. I feel not good enough. I don't think I'm good enough to be doing this. So what's the point, basically? And this is where I just really want to thank, again, everyone in the audience out there, anyone watching, because truly the, the little messages that I've gotten really do mean a lot. You know, when I hear that any sort of video that I made brought you a laugh or made you think about something differently, anything like that, that's the reason that I did this, just to have that community, that fandom amongst other movie lovers and TV lovers. And it's amazing to know that you guys have shown up and been there for me. And this certainly isn't a numbers game for me. Like, obviously, we all want to have like 100 million subscribers and all the views in the world but, you know, even losing some subscribers here and there, as I expected to do, for the most part, my subscriber count has stayed the same throughout all of this, and I just... Maybe you all forgot you're subscribed, <laughs> you all forgot about me. That's, I mean, that's a possibility, but I'm going to look at it as you all supporting me, and I really appreciate that. Again, just the kind words and messages that I've gotten, especially over this last year when it has been hard and I've been absent, has... It's brought me back here. It's made me want to do this. But I just want to explain that, you know, it certainly isn't the audience putting pressure on me. It certainly isn't YouTube putting pressure on me. Like, YouTube doesn't care about me. You know what I mean? I'm not bringing them revenue. They don't care. It's all me putting pressure on me. And that's something that I need to figure out for myself. You know, I need to work through that. And I need to sort of get over that bullshit. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video and hear me out and listen to me again. Really, my point with this is I want to say thank you for the support because it truly has meant the world to me. And also, 
I feel like I can be honest with you guys. I've really, I've really let you in and have told you everything over the last couple of years. So I wanted to keep that going and I'm going to keep that going. With all that out in the open, thank you guys so much again for listening to me rant and ramble as I do. I am looking forward to more ranting and rambling in the future. If you want to stick around, please do keep those notifications on. Stay subscribed. Talk to me in the comments. Let's get this back up and running. You can follow me on Instagram and Letterboxd for more of what I'm watching. That's it for this video, but I won't stop you from watching another. Sitting here with my microphone, wondering why all these lights are wrong. Oh.